Hey guys, today's video is really short. A friend of mine moved from Windows Phone to Android lately and she was having trouble moving her contacts. So this video is about that. To move your contacts from your Windows Phone to your Android Phone, you'll need two things. First of all, your Windows account, the one you use on your Windows Phone and the Google account, the one you want to use on your Android Phone and a computer. To find the Windows account you used with your Windows Phone, just go to your Windows Phone, go to Settings, Email and Accounts and you'll see the account right there. If you've already signed into your Google account on your Android phone but you don't know what it is, uh, it's easy to find it out. Go to Settings on your Android phone, go to Accounts, go to Google and this is your Google account. All the magic happens in the Google Contacts website. For those of you who've been watching my videos for a while, I'll let you figure out what the website is something.something.com contacts.google.com This is how Google may names all of its websites product.google.com To the left, you'll see more, hit more, <laughs> uh, hit import and hit outlook. At this point, it'll ask you to sign in to your Microsoft account. If you've already signed in, then it won't ask you. Make sure that the account you're signed in is the same one as the one on your Windows phone. The one we just saw a short while ago. If it's not the same, go to outlook.live.com, sign out and sign into the correct account. Back in Google contacts, hit I accept. It will take a minute or two and you're done. To organize your imports better, Google contacts adds a label called Outlook over here. If you don't like the name, go ahead and change it to the date of your import or whatever you like. But yeah, that's it. You're done. Let me briefly explain what happened behind the scenes. Every time you added a new contact on your Windows phone, it obviously saved it on your phone, but also made a copy on Microsoft's cloud. Now, even if you're not always on Wi-Fi or internet, it synced your contacts to the cloud whenever you connected it to Wi-Fi. What we just did is we made a copy of the contacts on your Microsoft Cloud onto your Google Cloud. Now when it's on your Google Cloud, you'd sign into your Google account on your new Android phone and it'll automatically download all those contacts directly to your Android phone. At any point, feel free to go back and cross check. Think of the last contact you added on your Windows phone. Um, go to outlook.live.com and see if the contact is there. It should be under a tab called contacts. Well, they move these layouts every now and then. But yeah, this is what it looked like the last time I used Outlook and it was down there. It keeps moving, but they always have a section called contacts. I think this entire process should take you a couple of minutes. And now all your contacts are on your Android phone. I hope this was helpful, folks. Don't forget, keep learning. Go.